Hey guys, in this video, we're going to do a physical comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Galaxy A13. Now, both of these devices, one is the high end and one is the low end. And in terms of physical, we just want to compare just the physical and not the spec of the device. Now, I'm going to place the Galaxy A13 on top of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And at the moment, when looking at this, they are both uh, have the same height, almost the same height. The, the A13 seems to be a little bit more higher, maybe just one millimeter higher. Uh, when we are looking at this one, so you can see here it is around one millimeter higher. Not much, but just a tiny bit higher. And it has almost the same width as the Galaxy S22 Ultra. When holding it hand by hand, this one here, the Galaxy S22 Ultra is slightly a little bit heavier, but I feel like it's also thinner to hold. It is heavier, I feel like there is more uh, built to it. It is. It has a higher quality build than the uh, Galaxy A13. Uh, everything on the, uh, on the uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra feel like there is a metal, uh, it has a metal, metallic frame built around, whereas on the a13 everything feel like fluffy um, a lot of plastic built into this uh, on the outer and the back um, case and at the top here there is a notch on the a13 there is a small notch right here a drop down notch and on the s22 ultra it just have a small camera cutout but there's no notch going down in terms of uh, buttons, there are no buttons on both devices. Uh, it has a built-in software uh, navigation uh, bar at the bottom. You get the recent, the home, and the back key. And if you go to the side, um, there is a SIM tray on the side here on the A13. There is a SIM tray right here, so we can um, eject the SIM tray. Okay, so I'm just going to eject the SIM tray on the A13. Now you can see here on this A13, however, it has a SIM card right here. It has a micro SD card, and it also have another slot right here. I suspect in some country you can have another SIM card, so you can have a dual SIM uh, in some countries. So you have another SIM at the back here. So one on this side, one on this side, and a micro SD card. So a dual SIM version. In a lot of way, it is um, better than the Galaxy S22 because it has dual SIM as well as it has a, an additional uh, slot for the micro SD card. So it can contains uh, more storage space when you run out of uh, storage space on, the, on your local device. Now the plastic here is quite flimsy, so we have to be very careful when uh, inserting or removing the SIM card on the A13. And on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, you can see the SIM tray is also plastic, but it's very small. It has only one slot for the SIM card and that's it. Uh, there is no additional slot for the uh, another physical SIM. There is um, a physical, uh, there is another SIM card, but it is an eSIM, embedded SIM, uh, which is available on your device, but it does not have a, um, a dual physical SIM, and there is no support for SD card. Alright, so if we look at the bottom here on the S22 Ultra, there is also an, a slot right here, and that is for the S Pen, so you have an S Pen on the S22 Ultra, and you also have a slot here for the external microphone. Uh, sorry, for the speaker, loudspeaker, and the microphone is over here. Both both of them use uses uh, USB C port uh, for charging. And on the Galaxy A13, it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, whereas on the S22 Ultra. It has only one single sp uh, uh, port, which uh, uh, share between uh, the charger and the headphone. 
and yeah there is a microphone over here and over here there is also a microphone and the plastic seems quite cheap on the a13 you can see here um, this is not it is rounded but not completely rounded so you can see there are some parts kind of like bulk uh, bulging up and some part is down so the build quality is not as good or not as smooth as the 22, uh, s22 ultra and going sideways you can see the the thickness of the of both devices uh, almost similar i feel that the galaxy a13 is a little is slightly a little bit thicker and on the galaxy s22 ultra the screen has an edge curve that goes all the way to the side whereas on the galaxy a13 right here the screen actually go to just around here it is not a flat um an edge a flat, um, flat edge uh, curve so it does not curve all the way to the edge whereas on the galaxy s 22 uh, 22 ultra the screen actually go all the way to the edge on the curve right here so that is another difference uh, if we go to the back there is uh, there is a camera compartment on the left hand side at the top and we also have different camera lens it is um, quite larger uh, the Galaxy S22 has a larger camera lens than the Galaxy A13 and also this while this seem might be seem like um, a big uh, camera lens it is in fact just the outer case and if you if you look um, closely at the camera lens you can see that the camera lens is actually quite small it's just the block covering the lens it's not the actual camera it's the camera is actually just really this one right here and now here is just the covering whereas on the Galaxy S22 Ultra you can see the camera lens is actually quite large and there is also a tele zoom on here as well and additional camera lens and sensors so that is the camera compartment on the Galaxy S22 Ultra and a uh, Galaxy A13 okay now if we, both, we move uh, down to the bottom both of them have the Samsung logo near the bottom uh, here and at the top they both have a microphone on the left hand side there is another microphone here at the top and on uh, the left hand side there is a SIM tray on the Galaxy A13 whereas S22 Ultra has a SIM tray at the bottom and that's it so that is a physical comparison if you uh, want to uh, buy um, the other phone and if you're you are, if you're looking up to upgrade uh, from a13 to the galaxy s22 ultra uh, it is definitely a big difference uh, not just only in terms of the looks but also the internal sw uh, specifications there is quite a lot even when pressing on the side button here the button feel very cheap uh, it, it doesn't respond as well as the Galaxy S22 Ultra, the button make a very loud clicky noise, and everything feels so plastic uh, on uh, on the Galaxy A13. Okay, so you probably wanna wondering uh, what about the performance between the the two devices. So if I open up the phone application, you can see the the screen on the Galaxy S22 Ultra is very sharp, and on the Galaxy A13. You can see it, but it's not as sharp and the screen is not as bright. It is kind of dim and not very bright compared to the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now I'm going to open up. You can see my internet uh, already open, my Safari already open on on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, whereas the A13, it takes some time to open up the app. And if I say open up another app in here, so let's say if we want to open up gallery it does take some time to open up uh, apps on the Galaxy S22 Ultra sorry on A13 and the Galaxy S22 Ultra is a lot faster so let's open up uh, an app say Facebook if I can locate Facebook on my S22 Ultra uh, not sure if I have it I can do a search Facebook Maybe it's not available on my um, S22 Ultra, but let's have a look at it. So if I open it up, you can see it is uh, open. It does respond 
uh, quite well after sometimes uh, after you have turned on the phone for a while and if you leave it for a while it does respond uh, quite fast but if you have a lot of apps on this device I can imagine it will slow down significantly because the processor will be a lot uh, lower spec than the Galaxy S22 and if I take a photo here This is the photo quality. You can see the photo is not very sharp. So if I try again with a steady hand, uh, if I try not to move too much. So here is the photo quality. And if I use the camera and take the same photo over here. Okay, so this is the photo quality on the Galaxy S22 Ultra and if we zoom in on this one okay so that's the photo quality if I zoom in it's actually both not bad um, in, in fact I feel like the Galaxy S uh, the Galaxy A13 actually have a better photo this time uh, that mainly could be because the way I took the photo so if I move in a little bit focus and shoot now you can see it come out better this time and that's the camera on the S22 Ultra this is the A13 and that's it uh, hopefully this video helps you um, be, uh, let, let you determine and can, you can see the difference between the A13 and the S22 Ultra thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos.